by 2030, 30% of our footprint in Europe will be with Open RAM. And this is not a vision, this is not an ambition, this is a plan. And that means that week on week, we are executing against that plan. The Open RAN evolution and how we will actually evolve to meet all its goals, I think it starts and finishes with the silicon. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's in the radio or in the baseband, it's all about processing capacity, processing power, but also not only performance, but efficiency as well. You may have seen a few weeks ago during Fuse, which was the TIP Summit, you could see the Samsung press release working with Marvel, the Nokia press release that they're embracing Open RAN, also working with Marvel. Those are some of the most important ones. Now, what does that mean for Open RAN? Well, it means a lot. The system that will result out of these cooperations, Nokia with Marvel, Samsung with Marvel, will be on par with the incumbent architecture, if not actually with a better performance is really good news for open RAM for operators and for the industry as a whole. If you have an inline layer one accelerator like the one Marvel is doing, that gives you a lot of freedom to actually leverage the ecosystem of CPUs introducing new players and new vendors. So I think going forward, it'll be important to have alternatives and obviously the most attractive is probably ARM. And we want to ready an ARM ecosystem to play on the CPU part. So the best way of doing that is to have a separate layer one inline acceleration that takes care of that before it hands over to the CPU. Now the role that Marvel is playing accelerating the workloads on the baseband is absolutely unique. And that is why we opened the Arandi Center in Malaga for silicon. So we think that open run at the end of the day is all about silicon. It starts and it ends with the silicon.